Hello and welcome back to another video here. Today we'll be showing you step by step how I tackle what I consider to be a fairly routine call. German yellow jackets. They built underneath this tablecloth up against that chair. And these can be tricky ones because if you rip open the nest too quickly while they're still flying, they will attack you. And they can get in your pockets, get in your suit. You have to be really careful with them. Uh, you know, typically the suit does a pretty good job of keeping you safe. And I mean, on this job, I didn't get stung. But there are certainly jobs where when you rip open their nest, they will come after you. So, that's why you see me dusting to start there. So you, you always try to find the nest, blow the dust in there. It takes care of the queen, um, gets as many of the workers as you can get. You're trying to, you know, take out as many directly with the dust as possible. And whenever they're getting a little too many of them attacking you. That's why you see me backing up every once in a while there, just to give them a little bit of distance. So all you do is you blow the powder in, then you excavate. You're looking for that nest, which I have found there. So you uncover that nest, and that's why I'm blowing some powder on it directly, just to make sure I'm getting as many with that pesticide as possible. Of course, many of you ask what I use. I, I often use either Tempo or Delta Dust. Uh, it's very effective, so I mean they won't die in the matter of time that it takes on the video here, so it looks like a lot more flying around, but you know, all those ones that are flying around, they die within a matter of minutes. So what you see me doing here is looking for the nest. So you can see there, they chewed a hole right through the middle of this tablecloth. That's the thing with yellow jackets, they have pretty good jaws on them, and they will ruin whatever it is that they are nesting in. So here they got into that tablecloth that was left there, and uh, they chewed it away, that way they could make one continuous nest. So here you see me pulling that nest out of there and putting it in my bag. And you know, a lot of people wonder why I use these small bags. Um, you know, we do that to be environmentally conscious. Um, you know, I try to reduce the number of single-use plastics, and just like anybody else, I get a lot of grocery bags. So, you make good yellow jacket nest holders. There I am taking the nest apart to show the camera. And, you know, it's it's not like I can't just throw this in the bag and be done with it. You know, I could do these jobs really quickly, but I like to take them apart just to show you guys what the inside of a yellow jacket nest looks like. So here you can see there's three tiers on this nest. And all I'm doing is going through and cleaning up the rest of it. So, it's pretty, you know, got quite a few yellow jackets in there, so yeah take the nest and I'm going to take it back to my truck here and then go get my liquid. I also keep a, a thing of bifenthrin in the truck and I'm just pulling those yellow jackets off just so that way they don't get in my jacket or anything. So I'm going to put away my duster here, put the bag away, and there's my bifenthrin that I'm grabbing. And uh, I use the RYOBI one OnePlus system so I have all my stuff that I use. I got a, a reciprocating saw, circular saw, drills that all uses the one plus battery. Uh, although I actually I hate the chemical sprayer from Ryobi. Uh, whenever this one finally dies, which will probably be pretty quickly based on their past history, they don't tend to last very long. You don't get very good pressure out of these, but for something small like this, we're going to have to shoot the chemical very far. It works pretty well still. So here I am coating it down with bifenthrin. And, you know, that's just a, it's a little more weather resistant. Um, it has a little bit faster knockdown time, uh, but you know it, it doesn't fill up that whole inside volume like the dust does. That's why I start with the dust, is to fill up that whole inside area with dust that they're nesting in, because there's going to be folds on the inside of this, and you want to make sure that you're filling it up. So basically you use the dust to fill it up, and then you finish off with the liquid once you have it all excavated and ready to go. The ones out getting food or the ones that have escaped, they come back and get into it. It's their instinct to rebuild. They don't go anywhere else. They come back. 
and uh, they get into this bifenthrin that I left. You know, this nest was dead. I came back a couple days later, there was nothing left, so it works pretty well. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe for more.